You guys ready to make a sick Easter basket? And by the way, if you're a kid watching this, this is not average, this is not normal. Easter baskets are usually something smaller because Easter's really not even about the baskets. Same thing if you're an adult or a mom watching this. If you don't have Easter baskets this ridiculous, I don't blame you. I never used to go out of my way to make them this crazy. Number one, um, because I couldn't, but number two, I'm a content creator, so that's a part of it. I like to make things big and fun for you guys, but first and foremost, for Myla. So it just kind of works out for everyone, but this is not typical, this is not normal, and please don't feel like you should be doing Easter to this extent, because you shouldn't, but just enjoy this, okay? Enjoy this crazy mom doing this craziness right here, okay? Who's ready to make a crazy cool Easter basket? Are we seeing the Tay Tay Swift goodies up here? Who remembers the best part of this right here? Ah! Let's make a killer Easter basket together, guys. I still have a whole bunch of packages I have not opened yet that have items that we need. I didn't, here's my problem too. I get this from my mother. I started doing Easter shopping like months ago. So what happens is I forget how much stuff I bought and then I just like keep adding to it. I need to do a better job at like checking and seeing what all I have. So that's the other thing too. Please look at this baby Nutella. Oh, she's gonna love that. Right, so we got a bunch of stuff in here already. Um, I'm using a new basket this year. The reason I like to use baskets like this is because then when Easter's over, I use them as decor in my home. So they're multifunctional. One of the biggest, the main things I'm so excited to show you that I got her is this. Well, I'm so over like typical candy, you know what I mean? I'm so over putting a crap ton of it in her basket and then it doesn't get eaten and then it's just in my house. So like if I'm gonna do any candy, I wanna make it fun, I wanna make it unique and different. So look what I got, you guys know Milo loves this kind of stuff. I got her a Japanese candy surprise box off of TikTok shop. You guys, this has so much cool stuff in it, like I can't even tell you. There is so much in here. Look at this. After Myla opens her basket, we'll probably be able to show you guys more stuff. I need to back this up, back it up and dump it. Let's see how quickly I can rip open all of these unopened packages that we still have. Let's see how fast I can do that. Okay. This, I thought she could put it on either her backpack or her cheer backpack. It's a little keychain that says, I can still make the whole place shimmer. Oh, come on. Came with two stickers. We love that. Okay, that's adorable. Love, 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 love. What I got. I think I know what this is. I think these are the earrings. Oh, I guess I could have left it in that nice little. Okay, these are these little earrings I got her. Oh my God, they're so cute. Can you see those? They say Swifty and they're little hearts that are almost like kind of disco ball like. This is, this is a good, this is a good Easter haul. I'm proud of myself. Because I'm opening all of this and it's all a similar theme, like it's gonna seem like there's a lot of Taylor Swift, but it's not all Taylor Swift. This is a notebook, but wait, can you read that right there? It says Myla's version. This is because we love notebooks, but also I, I encourage writing, journaling. It's been so great for me over the years. And it's something that I think is just like a really good habit to get into. So I try to encourage her to journal. Now you guys know she loves Nike socks. So I thought it would be fun to get her some of like the tie dye ones. So I got her these cute ones for spring. And then I also got her a pink pair. I got me a matching yellow pair. So I have to find out which are the adult ones and which are the kid ones. You know, I'm trying to make this also like, like fun, but also functional things that she'll use. And that's why like I'll get some clothing items as well. Oh, this is like just gonna fit her. I should have got her a medium and this hoodie is the one I was most excited about. I'm gonna cry. This is gonna like get washed once and it's gonna be over. Look how cute. The tortured poets department pink, which is her favorite color right now. I don't know what I was thinking getting her a youth small. I should have got her a youth medium. And like, it's gonna fit her, but it's just like, it won't be oversized at all, one. And two, it's gonna shrink so fast. And that's what I get for rushing. She'll still wear it, but it just won't last us as long as it would have. Okay, here's the other Nike socks. These ones I think she's gonna be most excited about. Look how cute. 
You see those? Oh my God, the UPS man is here delivering more stuff as we speak. I'm gonna cry. Those are adorable. I can't believe more stuff. Hey, relax. This is heavy, is this glass? Oh, look how cute this is. And this is a good idea too for a business. Cruel summer. This is bath, little bath salt. Ain't that the worst thing you've ever heard? And then it has all the ingredients there, but it's for the bath and it's like lover colors. So yeah, a little bath, um, salts, just something different and not candy, which of course I got her some of this. I thought this looked cool because it has the dehydrated marshmallows and they're all peep shaped. And she actually really does love cotton candy. I showed you guys this little yogurt cup. I got her for her granola fruit yogurt combo. So like I definitely try to make it functional. Got her the day hairbrush. I know she's gonna love that this, but I have an idea for this, so I need to set that aside. I bought her a little pink phone stand to put in her vanity. I have this in white, so I think she's gonna like that. Really, really cute baby pink gel pens. And then this is a matching mesh holder for them in case she wants to take them to school or anything like that. This, oh, I saw these on YouTube. Have you seen this where you, you have these little things and then you stick the little rubber piece to the side of your little Laneige lip gloss and you can attach one of these applicators so that you never lose your applicator. I saw people doing that on YouTube and I ran to Amazon to order these. I know she's gonna love that. And it's like what, $2.99 is super cheap. I got her a Tower 28 little um, rescue lip, little lip balm from Tower 28. She loves, loves these like, what are the freeze dried um, candies? They're Skittles. But they don't, like it's just wild, but she loves them. I got her a king-sized kitsch silk pillowcase because we got new king-sized pillows. And so she wanted a pink pillowcase. I saw these at Marshall's and she likes um, Mario Badescu. She likes their little toner spray. So I saw these little lip glosses. I opened the box to double check that they were totally sealed because you can never be too careful with Marshalls. I'm gonna do my best to get the sticker off, but I can't make any promises. She's at the age where like, I don't know. I want her to still know that the Easter Bunny is real because he is, you know what I mean? Okay, these little bubble wands for Myla and my uh, nieces and nephews. Please look at this chocolate. It has a little, all the different doggies on it. Rope. Little thingies for her to put in her mini fridge. I can't get over this. I, can't, I will not get over that. And of course we got some books. So she's obviously a little older than these little books, but it was the principle of The Tale of Peter Rabbit. I love this book and we actually don't have it. So I wanted it. And then I had to get this, my mini me. So even though they're like kind of kitty for her age, mom wanted them, okay? I wanted them. And then one of these fun little fidget balloon dogs. I also got those for my nieces and nephews baskets. So I'm gonna dig through the rest of these packages and just find the remaining items for her basket and then I'll come back, show you, and then we'll put everything together. Does that sound good? Okay. I just opened like a bajillion packages and honestly the majority of them were festival things. Um, there were only two more things I found. Yeah, is that it? I guess so. I'm like sweating in my own house. Have them like kind of sticking out the top, you know? That'd be cute, let's see. Good enough for me. And then I did get her a six pack of her favorite Nike socks, because I feel bad. I'll like send her over to her dad's with like a pair or two so that she can wear her favorite. And she doesn't even ask. She just kind of knows in her head like the things I have at my mom's that are my favorite and the things I have at my dad's that are my favorite. And it just like makes me feel bad. I don't want her to have to, I want her to have her favorite things every at every household, so. Now this shirt that I got her, let's see. Okay, this is perfect because she can either wear this out, she could wear it to bed, I could cut it up a little bit, but either way, it's a great size. I wanted this in a hoodie, but they didn't have a youth size hoodie. They only had a youth size t-shirt and it was still cute enough that I'm like, we're getting the t-shirt. So another Tay Tay Swift moment. You know what? We're missing one hoodie, I just realized. I bought her something, I'm so upset. After I bought it, the Etsy seller shut her shop down. I have a feeling I'm gonna have to fight to get my money back, but that was probably what I was most excited to show you guys. And I can't even tell you what it is because I reordered a new one and she's probably not gonna get it for another week at least. So I don't wanna say it because this video will probably be out by then. So stay tuned on this item that I can't wait for her to get. How cute, lavender haze. So yeah, she's in like this crazy hoodie phase right now where all she wears is hoodies. That's why I got her a couple hoodies. Again, functional functional items that she'll use, that she'll wear. 
I have to buy the kid new clothes every so often anyway, so I just like to try to make the Easter basket functional rather than get her a bunch of junk that's gonna sit around and then I'm eventually gonna throw away like a bunch of candy and all like the Easter junk that you can buy at Target is basically what I'm saying. So that is my one defense in terms of all of this stuff that I got. But let's go ahead and start putting the grass in. It looks like Jesus is shining down on us, doesn't it? Oh. This basket is so big and it's so deep. That's my biggest fear. Should I put like a little blanket? Maybe we'll use a, maybe we'll use this squishy I got her. This is Amy. I, you know what, Marshalls and their stickers, they put stickers right on the frame, on the glass part of these picture frames I got. They will not come off. And then to put a Marshall sticker over this tag, knowing like the way kids treat these tags, like Beanie Baby tags, should not be allowed. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is what, what, the Easter Bunny shops at Marshalls now? Like, come on, man. I am actually like sweating. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lay him flat so that I can use him to like prop things up. You know what I mean? We're gonna start with this cute grass with the flowers in it. Oh my God, it's open. Come on, Abby. One layer of grass. This grass is so cute. Look at this. Look how cute that is. We got the Japanese candy. Put that right in the back. All right, her little phone stand. Stick it in the corner there. Let's put another squishy up top like this. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna hang the hoodie over the side, right? Does that work, do you think? I like it. I don't know if you guys saw my video, but can you believe my mom texted me earlier and said, hey, um, your dad's dropping off an Easter basket for you so that you have something to open tomorrow morning. And I cried. I saw the basket sitting outside and I cried. How sweet is that? I've never done that before. And not that I expect them to, I really am not the type, like when I, like wake up on, you know, Christmas morning and my stocking is empty, but like Myla's and the dogs are full. It really does not make me sad. I just, I'm just excited for the day that that's not the case. You know what I mean? I'm just excited for the day I have somebody who, you know, we can, oh, Never mind. I'm gonna start to get emotional. Here are the two books. I'm gonna go ahead and slide those in. I wish I could. Maybe I can. The brush. Try to do it like that so that she can see it like that. How's that? That's good, that's good. It's the fact that we have still so many more items. All right, I want the socks to stick out too. Let's, oh, what I'm thinking is I'm gonna try to wrap this in cellophane if it's not too big to do so. And then the hope is that like this cellophane will kind of, hi, sorry, oh, hello. My hope is that the cellophane, um, wrapping the cellophane around the basket will kind of secure the items that are sticking up a bit, if that makes sense. I had to sacrifice you guys being able to see me so that you guys could see the basket better. Okay, we got the Nike socks. I'm gonna take them out of this plastic. By the way, I get these on Amazon. I'm gonna shove this other Squishmallow down in this corner because I think I'm gonna need to use him as a little. Oh my God, I think this is my favorite item. Jesus, will you sit please? Sit as best you can. These little tiny earrings and this little tiny keychain and then kitsch pillowcase. Let's try to put that next to the hairbrush. That's good. Maybe I could put stuff in here in the pencil case. Let's do that. Okay, so, oh my God. And then maybe I could have this hanging out the outside. I have a zip tie. So in this little bag, we're gonna put this Tower 28, she's been playing around with mascara, which is so funny, because that was the one thing I was not allowed to use when I was a kid. But she loves it, and it's the only thing she wants to wear. Like, she doesn't care about eyeshadow, none of it. All she wants to wear is mascara. It's the only thing she wants to experiment with with makeup, besides like lip products. So anyway, I got her this little mini Tower 28 travel size mascara to try, and then I also got her the Tower 28 like little chapstick thing. So we're gonna put those in there. We're also gonna put these stickers in that came with her Taylor Swift keychain. And then we have this keychain here, her little Swifty earrings. All right, at this point, I'm just gonna start shoving things in places. I wanna make this look a little bit nicer. Look up like that. Or maybe it'll stay with this cellophane. Maybe right here. Okay. All right, we got our yogurt cup. You know what? I'm gonna take this out of the packaging. 
that right in the front there. We got her pens. I'm gonna stick her pens back here. So I got her this Hello Kitty popping candy lollipop for funsies. We gotta have the Nutella front and center. Oh uh, god, I don't even know. Right here, right on top of the Nike socks. I'm like trying to film short form and long form. Okay, life of a content creator. Freeze dried candy. That product, that product in the video from part two that she didn't get, the from Ulta, that bubble serum, I totally dropped the ball on that. I think it'll be okay. I think she'll survive. Pearl Summer, I'm gonna put right up front here. You guys, I think we did it! Oh, except the bubble one. Cute. Okay, let me go get some zip ties. All right, I got a little zip tie to hang this on the side. Through here, through there. Perfect! Let's cut that. We did it! There she is, before I do the cellophane, just so you can kind of how to throw that in there, you know? Let me take a wild guess and say that these bags are probably way too small. But they're, these kinds are so much easier, you know what I mean? Oh my god, you know what I fumbled on? Like a big bow. I might have to take the one off of the Easter basket my parents dropped off. Let me get you guys a um, close up of the basket before we wrap her up in cellophane. Or this is gonna be hard to beat next year. And if I, if I must say so myself, I'm a pretty good basket maker. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna move this out of the way. We're gonna roll out some cellophane. And then as soon as I'm done with this, I'm gonna go pick up Myla. So before we do that, I want to put together um, just something little that I got for Mimi. So I don't even know if this is going to be big enough, but we're going to give it our best. Oh my god, you guys. Portia, who told you you were allowed to just sit there and look that damn cute? Let me wrap this up real quick and then I'm going to feed you guys, okay? Roll her down. I'm about to use a ponytail holder. <laughs> It's close on the sides at least. That's good. Yeah, that's fine, I'll take that. Our hoodie looks great, it's nice and folded. All right, I'm gonna use a zip tie. Shout out to my mother for the beautiful bow that she put on my Easter basket. And then also my dad, he's an architect. So he's always been like very artistic. He's really good at drawing. And for holidays like Christmas, Easter, he always makes everybody like a little name tag. And so for Easter, he does them in the shape of like little Easter eggs and then he just, he'll write the name and then decorate the egg. He does it for Christmas, like when we were kids. That's how we knew like which pile was ours because he would always put our names. I'm not looking at this basket till tomorrow, but so he, he does that sort of thing. So anyway, my point is I keep every one of those drawings my dad does so that that way I can tape it to Myla's, the front of Myla's basket. Aww. I bet you I hid them somewhere when I moved. So I'm gonna have to find those later. I should have put that little Taylor Swift charm keychain right here. I should have hung it on this. Okay. Okay. I'm going to, and now we're gonna put, this is a cute little bow my mom had on my basket. Thanks, mom. You're a real one for that. Okay, so I helped Easter Bunny out. Now I will just kind of put this basket wherever and then when the Easter Bunny comes tonight when Myla and I are asleep, he can hide it. We've got this giant basket with this little bow, but it's cute. I'm so grateful that I had something to use. Hey, I'll take it. Here's the final product, you guys. We are done. Here she is. Thank you guys so much for doing it with me. I appreciate you keeping me company and hanging out with me while I put this basket together. I hope you guys have a really nice Easter. If you don't celebrate Easter, shit, I hope you have a nice Sunday. Enjoy the day, kick back and relax. All of us crazies are gonna be flying around, stressing out, doing all the things that we do on holiday.
I'm gonna go get Myla now. She'll come over. We'll do some fun stuff tonight. We'll leave carrots out. We'll do all of the things. One final look for you guys before we finish up here. <laughs> Hey girl, huh? Okay. Um, here's what I'll do. Maybe I'll pull it out and then I'll have you close your eyes and then you can look. Ooh, okay. Hey, don't give my lana no fun. <laughs> what do you think? I do you like it? It's a perfect size, my. It's a youth medium, so it'll be a little more baggy. Oh, Look, okay. red reputation, Evermore, 1989, fearless, and it's different. It's spring and summer. You like? I love it. It's cute, huh? Here you go. It's all yours. Mwah. You like it? Thank you. You're welcome. I'm gonna give it to Jesus. Oh. Okay, are you putting it in your hoops last day? And then... Jesus! So this is the... Jesus! Wow! Last day of spring break. This is what we need a frame for, but this will go on her wall. It says, to live for the hope of it all. So I'm gonna get a gold frame, and that's gonna look really pretty. All right, that's it, friends. That's everything. Thank you guys again so much for putting her basket together with me. I'll keep you guys uh, posted on how Easter goes. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Thanks again, and happy Easter if you celebrate Easter. I'll talk to you guys so very soon. Bye.